oh my god <laughs> we need to talk about this foundation because it is insane hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a really really exciting one so i'm going to be showing you guys all of the stuff that i've been loving recently this is like makeup there's skincare there's some makeup brushes in there and that type of thing and these honestly are products that i actually get really really excited about because i love them so so much and you guys do not want to miss this you want to make sure you stay tuned to see what i'm talking about because honestly these products are phenomenal so to kick off this video i want to show you guys a makeup bag. This was actually kindly gifted to me by a company called the Flatlay Company. I've actually heard of them before and the reason why I love this makeup bag so much and it's so unique is the fact that it opens up flat. So you know with most makeup bags like you're always rummaging in them to find what you're looking for and with this makeup bag it just makes it so much easier because it just lays open. I'm going to do like a little cut away so you guys can see what I'm talking about but this is the bag how it looks kind of like with everything in it and as you can tell it's a little bit dirty because i have been using it to death it has come with me everywhere i mean i don't take it out in my bag like to the shops or anything like that because that would just be ridiculous so this holds all of my like everyday makeup essentials and like skincare stuff and when i'm in the house with the baby on my own and i don't really like to leave him on his own i tend to kind of like just take this makeup bag to a place where he is and i can do my makeup while i'm kind of like playing with him i suppose so it just makes it so much easier and honestly if you're traveling as well I have actually traveled with this bag as well and it is amazing I will leave all of their kind of like information and pricing and everything like that down in the description box below if you guys are interested but I would highly highly recommend this if you guys are looking for a makeup bag oh my god <laughs> we need to talk about this foundation because it is insane this was five pound 70 i mean what a bargain <laughs> i actually found this off of beauty bay i've heard so many people talk about this this is from the ordinary ordinary i can have pronounced that word properly so as we're coming into like the spring summer months i like to go a little bit sheerer with my foundation and something that's really comfortable to wear my skin tends to get oily in the summer months so i just like to wear kind of something that is going to let my skin breathe and not kind of clog it up if that makes sense so i have really been enjoying in this foundation so much so i actually think it's one of my favorite foundations that i think i've ever used the shade is absolutely amazing like they have such a good shade range i think they have like 21 shades but this one that i have on today it matches me perfect i've probably mentioned to you guys before i'm very fair complexion but i've got a yellow undertone to my skin and this honestly matches me really really well and it is really really lightweight it's not going to clog your pores it's kind of like a semi matte finish as well so it is going to dry down a little bit on your face but still give a little bit of luminosity to it. it is a more kind of like lightweight to medium coverage so if you guys are looking for more full coverage then you can definitely go and check out their other one that they have although i haven't actually tried that so i can't actually tell you guys whether or not it's good or not but i'm just going on the back of this one so this definitely evens out with your skin tone just with like one or two pumps you don't really need a lot so it's really really nice for kind of like an everyday kind of foundation for the summer months if you wanted it a little bit more full coverage like i have today you can definitely build it up so this is probably like two layers of this foundation and i really love the way it looks my pores honestly look so so good with this foundation it doesn't emphasize them at all in fact it minimizes them and my skin it just looks so smooth and flawless i would highly highly recommend you having a look at this foundation just because of the price point i just think it's absolutely amazing so another foundation that i've been getting a lot of wear out recently is by benefit i think there's very very mixed reviews on this some people love it some people hate it but this is the hello flawless oxygen wow foundation the only kind of like negative with this foundation is that it doesn't have a massive shade range so i wouldn't say that this shade matches me completely but it's it's kind of like the best I'm going to get basically I don't really feel like they have a very good shade range at all but I really love the formula of this foundation it's really nice and lightweight again and fresh looking your skin looks really nice and glowy and radiant and it really does last a long time on me so I've definitely been enjoying this foundation and I think again this is going to work really well for kind of like the warmer months that are coming up so now moving on to makeup brushes I wanted to share with you guys the Sigma ones now these are proper OG kind of old school makeup brushes you know they have been with me for ages but i kind of like put things to the side and then recently picked them back up and been using them and i really really love these so you can definitely still get this on sigma's website but these are honestly some of my favorite kind of sigma brushes that i've tried this is their 3d hd kabuki kabuki set 
<laughs> and this is their kind of like precision Oh my god, what is going on with my pronunciation today? Right, this is their 3D HD Precision brush and this is their Kabuki brush. So this I like to blend out foundation with. What I love about it so much is that it's got kind of like a unique kind of shape to it. So it really does fit into the contours of your face because you know like especially around your nose, um, it's quite hard to blend out foundation especially with a brush but this one just makes it so much easier. And then this Precision brush is exactly the same kind of like shape to it. I like to use this to blend out concealers and also eye primers and things like that. So I just wanted to mention these brushes to you guys. These are really really lovely and yeah I've been using them a lot recently. Can we just talk about this mascara now? I know I don't really talk about mascaras a lot on my channel because I'm not really a massive kind of like naked lash wearer I suppose. I like to wear my falsies. On the days where I don't wear falsies this mascara has been a game changer for me. Now I don't actually know how much it costs. I think it was like two pound out of Primark. I have told you guys about Primark Beauty before. Some of it is really really hit and miss but when you do get a hit it is so, so good and such good value for money. And I highly, highly recommend this mascara. It is really, really kind of like plumping. So it adds so much volume to my lashes. And yeah, I've just really been enjoying this recently. I'm gonna show you guys how this looks without any falsies because this is pretty much what I wear on an everyday basis when I'm not wearing falsies. But yeah, it's just such, such good value for money and a really, really good quality mascara. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of highlighters that I've really been enjoying recently. And one of them is by Jouer. So this is in the color Skinny Dip. Now I love this highlighter. I don't actually love it so much on my face. I feel like it's a little bit too golden for me. But if you're more on the warmer complexion, I think this is gonna look absolutely amazing. But for me personally, I have been using this so much in the center of my lids. Groundbreaking. So this is what I have on today over the top of those Morphe eyeshadows and it just gives such a beautiful kind of pop of gold and it's really nice and shimmery and these are really, really good quality highlighters. I mean, they're so creamy in consistency and they're really nice and pigmented and as eyeshadow, they work amazing. So that's what I've been using a lot recently for eyeshadow. And then for highlighter, and this is like a really bling highlighter for me, but I love it. This is by Ofra and this is the Nikki Tutorials collab they did and this is in the shade Glazed Donut. Now, this is really, really intense bling. You're gonna see yourself from outer space. I mean, it is absolutely amazing beautiful highlight i have it on today and if again if you're more of a fair complexion like me this is going to be the shade for you they do obviously have loads of other shades that work for other kind of like complexions but for me personally this works really really nicely and i have been loving this recently so next off i'm going to show you guys a really really good affordable product that i've really been enjoying and this one is by revolution pro i can't actually remember the price of this i'll leave it on the screen if you're interested but i know this was very very affordable but the reason why I kind of like pick this up is because it really is kind of like, well, packaging wise, a similar dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow palettes that you get. So I actually purchased this in the shade Dark Brown and I don't really use so much of the light shade, but I use the dark shade a lot. It's really, really nice and pigmented and it just works for my eyebrows. I like to pencil my eyebrows in at first and then just go through the ends of my eyebrows with a little bit of a darker brown and it just works really really nicely and yeah i definitely thought that was worth a mention so this eyeliner i am so in love with this is by dose of colors and this is their kind of like coal eyeliner and this is in the shade caviar which is their black eyeliner and this is like a retractable pen but it's honestly so so good i have really been enjoying kind of like a blown out winged eyeliner recently more than a kind of like precise eyeliner if that makes sense so what i've done today is literally just aligned my lash line with this pencil and i've just gone in and smudged it out and honestly i have really been enjoying this look recently it's just so nice and soft it's so easy to achieve if you guys are kind of like a little bit kind of novices i suppose when it comes to eyeliner and you always kind of get it wrong i mean we all have bad days when it comes to eyeliner i know that i do but this just makes it so much easier it just looks so so good so i highly highly recommend this eyeliner if you're looking for a kind of really pigmented coal 
black eyeliner this one is super creamy it's not going to drag on your eyelids and yeah it's just absolutely stunning i love this so so much so now i want to mention a bronzer that i've really been enjoying i kind of wanted to test out a few new bronzers because i've really been using my hourglass ambient lighting bronzer to death and i thought it was about time that i kind of tested some new ones you know so i actually picked this one up by maybelline this is their city bronzer this i believe is kind of like a new bronzer i've really been enjoying this this is in the shade medium warm and it's a little bit pink if I'm going to be completely honest but I absolutely love the formula of it I love how it looks on the skin I have it on today and as you guys can see it just gives a really nice kind of subtle glow like I know they do do like more shades in this range but it is a really kind of good affordable bronzer if you guys are looking for one so yeah I would definitely recommend this you guys know already my love for the elf cosmetics concealer like that stuff is just literally insane this is their 16 hour full coverage wear camo concealer and this i think was about five pound or something like that i actually done a whole video on this like kind of testing it out and like a big review i'll leave this link above if you want to go and check it out but i would highly highly recommend this concealer i know everyone's been talking about this recently but it is such a good value concealer and honestly the quality of it is absolutely amazing it covers up everything and it's just really nice and easy to blend and yeah it doesn't crease as well i absolutely love this stuff i actually purchased this in the lightest shade which was more like a white on me it was so so fair so i actually went and purchased a another color which is like the shade down from that one which matches me so much nicer but yeah i have been loving this this is such a good value concealer so i don't actually know if i've mentioned any of revolution skincare products in my videos before but i've really been enjoying these recently again these are very very inexpensive i believe they were about five pound each and i never actually knew revolution makeup did a skincare line but they have some really really good products so i actually picked up three although i haven't actually tried one of them which i can't actually find but i think it's their retinol products i haven't actually tried yet but the two that i've really been enjoying for kind of like the morning is the caffeine solution hyaluronic acid this is for the underneath of the eyes and also their two percent hyaluronic acid which is like a serum that you can put all over your face these two together are really really nice my skin feels a lot more kind of firmer and more plumper so this is almost like a drink for my skin i suppose my skin feels a lot more hydrated when i use this and yeah i've really been enjoying this and for the money it's definitely worth a look and i know they do loads of others as well so i'm definitely going to go back and try out some more so a moisturizer that i've been using a lot recently is this one by pixie you guys can tell because i'm pretty much run out and i need to go and get another one this is the second tube that i've been using and honestly this is such a good moisturizer i use this in the morning and this honestly sinks into my skin it creates such a beautiful glow to my skin and honestly underneath my makeup it just looks amazing so i would highly recommend this moisturizer as a kind of like day moisturizer and something that's going to give you a lot more luminosity in your skin so after i tried out that elf camo concealer and i was really really impressed with it i wanted to go back and try out some more of elf's makeup because i actually haven't tried any of it before i believe this is only coming to stock in Superdrug, like recently so i haven't been able to get my hands on any of this stuff this is a palette that i picked up and this is their blush palette i really really love this it's so pigmented and so nice to blend out so you've got more of a bronzer here that i haven't actually tried yet but i have just been gravitating towards these blushes a lot recently but this one has got like reflective kind of shimmery bits in it you guys can probably see on camera this is more like kind of like a rosy coral but it just works so beautiful and i know that these two shades i'm going to get a lot of wear out of in the kind of spring summer months and yeah i've just been really really enjoying this and i believe this was really affordable as well and for an affordable palette you get four different blushes in it they're really really good quality so i would highly recommend trying this if you haven't already i just realized i got over on teeth so the next product i want to show you guys that i have actually been really really enjoying recently is the morphe 35g palette i actually done a whole kind of like tutorial and review on this palette so if you guys haven't already seen that i'll leave it linked above if you want to go and check it out i am really on the fence with this palette because i love the matte formulas but i really dislike the kind of like shimmers and the metallics in the palette i just don't think they perform very well so i have just basically been using the matte shades and I honestly love 
the colors they're really nice and easy to blend and they're nice and pigmented so i actually have the eyeshadows on my eyes today and I have been using this a lot recently, so I definitely wanted to include it in today's video, albeit that I'm not a fan of their shimmers, but I just absolutely love their matte formulas. Oh my God, it's gonna go to... <gasps> my battery's gonna die. Last product that I wanna share with you guys is a eyeshadow palette. This is by Tarte. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Now, I've had this in my collection for quite a while now, and as you guys can see, this is a very, very well-loved palette. So I wear these eyeshadows on the daily. I I love the color palette. I love the tone. They're so like neutral. Just works so, so well. As you guys can tell, I've run out of this shade right here, which I love. But this is such a good transitional shade, this one right here. And I use a mixture of these two all the time. This shimmery shade is really beautiful as well. The quality of these eyeshadows are really, really lovely. And yeah, it just smells so good. Like it honestly smells like chocolate. It's just, I love it so much. So guys, that is the end of my favourites video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed watching this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I will see you all again soon. Bye.